Yo, what is up guys? I'm back with another video. It's Defensive Supreme. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make your Chromebook faster. Here's the tips. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the settings wheel. Now, the settings wheel is not the normal settings wheel you would find. The normal settings for the Chromebook wheel is going to be the settings when you go into settings. This wheel is actually the, is like the Android settings wheel. Now, the way I was able to get the settings wheel was whenever I was playing... An Android game that required me to draw apps over. I pressed allow. I pressed allow. And then I pinned it to this taskbar. So if you're able to find out how to do that, search it on YouTube or something. But once you're into the settings wheel, you want to scroll down to the bottom to get the system. Now, if your Chromebook's already in development, if, if your Chromebook's already in develop mode, then you don't have to do this next step. But if it's not develop mode, this is what you want to do. Press about device. Press build number. Which, as you see, I'm already a developer. Press build number five to seven times, and you're set. Go back after that. that's done. Go down to developer options. And you'll know developer options is on if you're on this page or if it's just on. Scroll down to get under drawing. You're going to press window animation scale. It should be on one, sometimes 1 1.5, depending on what the Chromebook you're on. And let me just show you guys how slow it is. Look how slow it is. You can tell it makes a difference. You see how slow it is? Looks like it's in slow mo. Put it on the off, and you see how slow that is. Looks like it's lagging. I just see here. You want to put that to off, and the set. One more thing: if you're on an Android phone, this all also works. You want to go down to log or buffer size. Put this on one million on an Android phone. Now I don't really know if it does anything on a Chromebook, but I just leave it to the default two fifty six. After you're done with that. The next thing you want to do is power wash your Chromebook every month or two months. So if you don't know how to power wash, go to settings. Once you're in settings, you want to go down to advanced. Go down to reset settings and press reset. And then you press restart. And then you can power wash your Chromebook. The last thing you want to do is every single week, I recommend, clean your history. And go to your Google account and turn off history for that because it also stores up history. If you don't know how to clear your history, you press Central H or you press the three dots and you just press history as you see here, Central H. Well, I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. If, this, if there's any other question you need, leave it in the comments below. Have a great day and God bless.